A statue of a bird? Uh-huh. Who's inquiring, please? Who is this? Hello? What happened? Whoever it was hung up. It's interesting. Why? No, not the hang up. The idea that someone would be asking about a statue of a bird. That's what that call was about, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yes. Of course, one immediately leaps to the assumption it's the same bird statue that contains the incriminating photographs of you and me together. Well, it can't be. Well, well, well unless, of course, there's some manufacturer out there who's glutting the market with statues of birds. I'd say there's a pretty damn good possibility. You just keep your voice down. You told me that statue was burned in the fire. I have no reason to believe that it was. You just heard a reason on the pub. Now let's just say, for the sake of argument, that that bird statue somehow survived the fire. Now what if someone found it and opened it? Trust me, the bird statue is not out there. You're not very convincing, Eve. What do you want me to say, Julian? I told you! You have no evidence. You didn't see it burn. You didn't see the ashes. It's not out there! I don't have to remind you. There's a great deal at stake here. No, you don't. Our lives, as we know them, are at risk. Everything we hold dear is riding on those photos of us being destroyed. They were. They were inside the bird you statue. don't know that. I was there! Where? At Orville's apartment when the fire happened. You were there? That's how I know. Wait a minute, you, you went to this, what's that, Orville's apartment, and, and what? Tell, tell me what happened, tell me the truth. I... You set that fire, Eve? You torched that old man's place? I had to. I'm so ashamed, I'm just so terribly ashamed. But I did not have a choice. When I couldn't find the bird statue, I knew I had to do something. I mean, my whole life depended on those pictures not being found. I, I could not just lose my husband, but my daughters would see me for a hypocrite. It is a fraud. You wouldn't. No. You wouldn't, Julian. Can you tell them about the pictures? Not only that. You know what I'm talking about. Well, we'll both just shut up about that, understand? Do you understand? Yeah. <clears throat> Back to our past together. If it ever came to light, it would really hit the fan for me. Father won't tolerate scandal in the family. He'd disinherit me, or worse. We'd have nothing to worry about if you hadn't had that thing for taking photographs of me. It wasn't a thing, that was art. The body was poetry in motion, and I captured it. God, how I captured it. What a time we had, huh? I've hated every moment of it. Oh, Eve, no, no. I wish I could go back and erase that part of my life. that time very well. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Stop it, Julian. The feel of your skin, those lips. Stop your it, Julian. You're right. We are in a public place, which makes it even more delicious, I suppose, the idea of not being able to be with you. That will never happen again, you Julian. Are so never. so incredibly seductive. Why don't you come back to my office? If you don't take your dirty hands off me, I will remove your fingers with a scalpel.
it's not my fault I remember what we once had. There's not a man alive who'd blame me for finding you so attractive. You'll never touch me again, Julian. Never. Come now, Eve. What do the children say? Lighten up. And I never want to hear you talk about the past again. Yeah. It's a tall order. It's what we are. There's no escaping it. No, the past is not what I am. Not in the least. I am not at all the woman that you knew back then. Looks like an Eve. Feels like an Eve. I am not the same girl that you knew back then. I have a career. I have confidence and self-worth. And I got it all from T.C., the finest man that I ever met, and the most wonderful husband in the world. And I won't allow him to be hurt. But I, I certainly have no desire to... You keep bringing up our past. Only to you, I swear. Didn't I just get through saying that my father will brook no scandal? If T.C. were to find out that this perfect ideal picture he has of me is just so far from the truth. And my daughters. I mean, the idea of damaging my daughters because of what I did when I was young. Whitney and Simone are at an important stage in their lives. Soon they're going to be falling in love for the first time, and if they were to learn what kind of woman I used to be. You don't have to persuade me. We're on the same side, Eve. I am their role model. They want to be like me. The way I am now, not the way you used to know me. We're both on the same page. Our past will stay in the past. To poetry in motion. Father, good to hear from you. No, it isn't. <laughs> what do you mean? What were you thinking of, Julian? I don't... Photographs of you and Eve Russell. What the hell is that all about? I don't know what you mean, Father. Do you deny there are photos of you and Eve Russell in bed? Mm. No. Just when I thought things were starting to settle down, you blindside me again. Well, I wouldn't put it that way. Of course you wouldn't. Your mind is going a mile a minute trying to come up with some way to save your hide. I object to that characterization. It's already saved. All the evidence of my dalliance with Eve Russell was burned in a fire, completely destroyed. You're sure? Absolutely. You damn well better be right about that, Julian. Because if those photos surface, I'll have to start rethinking who will be my heir. I am. And will continue to be. It's only right. I'll decide what's right. Just as I'll be the one to choose who'll take over when I'm gone. Those photos had better not make some miraculous appearance. If they do, I'll have to think long and hard about whether you're fit to be the next head of the Crane family.